all suited up for winter. I have my poncho, my uh, my sweatpants, my belt that's made out of the long longest piece of of uh, of uh, scrap cloth that I had in the scrap box. My long sleeve thing, my little thing right here, which is like the it's like the the uh, the sleeve out of a sweater or something like that. It's a great little muffler in my cap. So. It's the first time I've been suited up all, all year. This is kind of like my my get around the house in the winter. Uh, you know, thing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Anyway, oh, just got out of bed. It's it's uh, I don't know what time it is, but before sunrise. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's chilly out. And there's a house way over there with one light. That was the only light on from all the way over and around with one freaking light. I mean, it was an inky blackness. Look at that. I can understand how the color field painters were color field painters, but not from where they lived, you know. Washington, D.C. <laughs> No, I don't think they got that from nature for some reason. I don't know. But if, you, uh, if you're sitting around with nothing to do, there's a guy, his name is Simon Shama. S-C-H-A-M-A, -S I think it is. You put in, the, put in the search thing, Simon Shama, and it'll pop up all of these really great uh, documentaries on artists. He did one on uh, Van Gogh. Uh, Rembrandt. Uh, the one that I like the most is the one he did on uh, uh, Mark Rothko. It's a good one. Oh, Jean Louis, Jean Jacques Louis David, the French painter. That was an awesome one. He does great documentaries on artists. I mean, he's just the best. So that'll give you something to do. He's really. Excellent, and it's good art history. If you like art history, you know. I've been, uh, I don't know what I've been doing. Oh. So anyway, the situation continues <laughs> over here. <sighs> Feeling rather, you know, low key. Sure, I may. Uh, I may end up. I think today, uh, a buddy of mine and I would might be going to a movie tonight or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, just. Got
kind of out of bed and thought I'd do you a little, a little video about being suited up for the, for the chilly weather coming. I've got all my wood ready, uh, you know, all the wood's chopped, and I'm ready to uh, welcome the, the winter. Uh, you know, I've got some other things I've got to do. Probably be, probably won't be doing many videos for the next month. So I've got a bunch of stuff I gotta do. I'm Hello Rodney, thanks for watching and bye bye. Good morning. I'm Hello Rodney, thanks for clicking on my video. I don't know what time it is before dawn. It's a little bit it's been sprinkling so oh, oh boy I had to turn off the power to my house well not my house to to the to the uh, what do you call it uh, smoke detector, smoke alarm. And then he starts beeping. I don't know. In the morning, it picks me up. And it, the hell? I, just, I look around. There's no smoke. There's no nothing. Thing kept beeping. You know. Like, oh man. So I thought, okay. Must mean the battery needs to be replaced. So I got my ladder out, replaced the battery. Beep beep. Oh jeez, wasn't the battery. So I thought, well, there's a package that I opened had already, before I got the battery, the package had already been opened. So I thought, well, maybe this, I don't know what happened. So I put another battery in there. Oh, same old, same old. So I got on the, on the internet and found an article where first thing it popped up and said, uh, if it keeps doing that before you replace your detector, I think what it said was, it's early in the morning, uh, you know, you, you uh, turn off the power at the, at the, uh, at the box over here. Uh, the breakers, okay. So I hit the breaker, one set of breakers, went over there, checked out the light was still on, then put set that back, and then went and did the next set, and that was it. So the the power's off of the off of the uh, detector. So then I opened the, you know, took the thing. It it uh, it's mounted where you can click it like that, click, you know, and the thing pops off, boink, like that. And it's connected with a wire. And you gotta, I don't know if there's a proper way to do it. I just kept having to jiggle it till it finally came off. I wasn't getting too crazy with it because I didn't want to break it. So it came off and then uh, took it off. So I hold, hold, have it in my hand now. I took out the battery and then you push the button, the, the test button for 15 to 20 seconds. So I held it for maybe about a minute. And then I took it, plugged it back in, popped it in, clicked it, it's in. Then I put the battery back in. It's been, hasn't been beeping since, so thank God it's, let's see. Yeah, the little red light, the little uh, green light's on. So anyway. If you have trouble with anything, you can check the internet to see if you can get it fixed. That was great, thank God. to see the movie Bridge of Spies. Guys, 
out here. What's going on? I saw the movie Bridge of Spies the other day. Anyway, I saw a bridge of spies. Oh, there's a uh, some blinking lights going on up there. Could be an ambulance. Could be uh, something or other. Who knows? Tell you what. Oh, I'll show you this. I'm gonna get my coffee first. I bought at the. At the garage, at the lot, at the uh, flea market, I bought a push mower. Look at that! You can't see anything. That's that was done by the guy that did the uh, that came over with a weed whacker, weed whacked my yard. But I got got that push mower and push mowed a, a path over here so that I can walk out to the to the fence <laughs> without having to walk through all that so it's it's quite a bit better it's it's not made for that I guess but so anyway oh, it's nice out before dawn. Oh, you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but in those clouds right there, you can start seeing a little bit of orange coming out on those, on those clouds. From the top of my roof, you can see it a lot better. One of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna put a little, set of stairs on there and put a big couch on top of my on top of my little roof right there or something like that so I go up there and just sit down and, and look around I mean it's it's so much nicer up there because you get a really like you get like a 360 view up there down here you know you're you're blocked in with a bunch of stuff but up there it's real nice Well, anyway, at least at least I had a battery to replace the thing, and at least I had a computer to figure it out. Because otherwise, I would have thought that the thing was just totally malfunctioning. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what you deal with out here. People with no mufflers is before dawn. I'll tell you what. Live in the country life. Oh well. I'm up. I'm freaking out for sure. Alright, I'm all Rodney. Thanks for watching and bye bye. It's like we got a little coyote fest out of here. It seemed like they could be, I mean, they're just maybe right over the fence.
quit, but wow, it was, <laughs> there's no, I couldn't see anything, but I could certainly hear him out there.